Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to City Skylines. We've got a big episode planned for today. We're going to be redeveloping the entirety of Aspen, which includes the college and the park. And this is because I want to plan for some brand new residential coming in and the uh, ultimate expansion of our city. So you can see here we do have our amusement park there right next to our football stadium, which uh, is not being developed at present, but we are going to come back to that next week. And you can see over here we've got our new office and um, commercial district over by the college itself. So I'm going to develop this in a couple of stages and phases today. We're going to start by removing a few things, putting our roads back in place, and then hopefully we'll be able to consider Aspen District finished. Okay, so as you can see, we are dezoning this entire district, and that's because we're going to redevelop this. We're going to change the road layout somewhat and just make sure that everything's a little bit more in fitting with the rest of this build. Now, what I want to do is I want to move Aspen Park to this middle kind of block here and make it like a long city centre park. The rest of it is then going to start moving out towards some suburban areas and we're going to have a nice new area going all the way along the waterfront here. So you can see power's starting to get disconnected and stuff and we've got a few issues and things like that but once all of these buildings are gone we'll be able to pause the game and get everything set back up before we run out of money. So you can see here that stuff has started going away and uh, we can now demolish the buildings that are in here. So we've got a few buildings here that we're going to go demolish. I'm going to get rid of all of these and then we'll come back and work on our new road layout and stuff. So uh, let's just dive ahead until all of this is done and then we'll start mapping out our brand new road layout. Okay, so we've semi-flattened everything now and things are starting to look a little bit more, you know, shapely, I guess. <laughs> Um, what we want to do is we want to move Aspen Park into this middle area. And what I'm going to try and do is dig out a lake for the middle of this park. And that should allow us to start using some of the water features that are in the uh, Park Life expansion pack. Of course, down here, we're going to have a little bit more of a suburbia type structure going to it but for now we just need to put in a little bit of a road network you can see here we've had to delete some of our um, longer roads going through here we've actually reduced the um, amount of residential that we've got here so we're going to need to put that back in over here this is where the college is we're going to make some developments to that at some point as well but for now what we want to do is we want our park to be here so we just need to bring this all in i'm going to get my snapping back on then we're going to go all the way across here now as you can see it doesn't appear to be completely straight which is a bit of a shame um, but that is apparently a 90 degree angle there. So what we want to do is we want to bring this back down to here. And this is where we're going to have another row of uh, high, re high density residential. So we're going to have that go all the way down there. Then our park is going to be right in the middle there. So we'll delete that road. We don't actually need that one. And then we'll come back to our road here and what we'll do is we'll go with a standard two lane road but we'll put a um, nice median tree in the middle and then i think this goes all the way to here now if we can just get that lined up correctly yes it goes all the way through but you can see we have some discrepancies with where the housing is going to take place so that is something that we're going to need to change this road is really off center so we're going to get rid of that and put it back in so that it looks a little bit more appealing. So I'm trying to get things looking a little bit more straight in this sort of new residential district. And as you can see, we go all the way along to here. It's still a little bit off. But if we come back now, it should now match up nicely. Okay, excellent, right. Now we will put some high density residential in here going into our suburbs and that should rectify this demand for commercial and industry or office work. Now, this area here is going to be our brand new suburban district. So we're going to put some nice two lane road with trees in. And as you can see, I've already built a little bit of a key here. And then we're going to have houses that kind of sit out looking over that key. So our residents are going to be able to walk along the key side and see a load of stuff here. We're going to move this and probably the fishing industry and look to make another residential area over here that's going to be a bit more of a really like nice suburban complex i guess so as you can see there's two tiers here so we're going to need to be aware of that as well 
And what we'll do is we'll find a couple of areas where we can put in some intersections. Like this area here, we can put in a nice little bit of intersecting space going through and then another one here. But I don't want to put too much of these in because they will start to affect our traffic. But that then gives us the opportunity to come down through here, matching that up nicely. And then again, all the way down to here to match that up quite nicely as well. We can then turn our attention to running something along this area here. Now, we did have a little bit of a pathway coming along here, so we'll match those up. And then we'll do the same here. But then I just want to have some smaller streets coming off either side. We'll link these ones, and then we'll put another one going up to here, and that just ends there. So these will all be lighter residential areas. And then down here, we'll have a nice curved road that comes off at this point here, goes around, and then it will probably curve quite nicely. And then our lower residential area down here is just going to be a series of smaller roads that just come off here, going into a street there. And then here, just these little cul-de-sacs. And they'll just loop around and join back up. And then down here, we'll just do a nice straight street that comes along to an end point there. And then we could even expand this little commercial area here. I'll run that all the way up and we'll make this just standard commercial. So again, we'll get some commercial put in here all the way around the end there. And then we'll maybe have a couple of commercial areas that look out over the uh, street and what i'd like to do is i try and like to make a, a little bit of a mix of commercial areas here so we want to start encouraging bars and things to move into this area so we'll again we'll put some of these in i'm going to leave that open because i want to put some parks and stuff in there and we're also going to need to consider where we're going to fit in our amenities and public services so i'll probably have a few things on that little stretch of land there and then maybe on this little location as well, just across the road from these residential buildings that are going to pop up as well. There we have it. Right. OK, now that's in. Let's put in some services. So first things first, we want to put a little medical clinic in. We'll put that right there. And then I guess we can put another one in this commercial district. We did get rid of our child health centre, so I want to bring that back. Again, we'll put that next to that medical. And then our elder care, we're going to put in this main district there and then we're going to need to put in some crematoriums too so we'll put that i mean right next to elder care is probably not the best place for it <laughs> oh god soon we'll come for you don't worry <laughs> oh dear and then what else can we put in we'll put a sauna in uh right here that would be nice and then i think i have a few other things like these are all larger things that we don't actually need right now so our fire station we're going to put a large fire station in right here that should service a much larger area and i think we can probably just cope with that and then a police headquarters we'll also put on the opposite side here where our fire station is as well education is going to be important so we are going to need to bring in some smaller elementary schools again and potentially what else do we have? We've got the community school, which we'll put down here. Fits in nicely there. And yeah, I think that is starting to look a lot better. So probably the next thing to do is to just wait for our residents to come in. We need to make sure that they're all hooked up to the power grid. So we'll once again, we'll drag this power line to here, get them matched up nicely, and then we'll jump ahead a little bit further until we're ready again to talk further expansion okay so we've had some more people move in now and things are starting to fill out in here but we do need to add in uh, the the park now so what we're going to do is we're just going to pause things again i'm then going to take my park area paint tool here and we're going to paint into here and that's hopefully going to drag aspen park's current level into this new park area with it so we'll fill all of that up then what we'll do is we'll grab our park entrance here our main park gate we're then going to put on this area here and i'm not saying that this is all going to take up the same area but what we could do is we could turn this into everything your park needs basically we could make it 
have basically so many different things in. We could throw in a zoo or something. But what I do want to do is I want to grab this road here and I want to have it end here. So our park is essentially going to end at that road there. We'll have another entrance gate coming off that way. And then this area we can fill with other things like, I don't know, like a, a little commercial district because we are starting to see a bit more of a demand for commercial. But also I'd like to have my all of my residences framed by some sort of commercial or extra bit of parkland or something like that. Uh, I haven't actually worked that one out yet. So we'll go into our parks again. Uh, we want to make sure that this is a nice entry park 13 visitors in the last week which isn't amazing we do need to improve the entertainment value here so what we'll do is we'll start working on our new kind of little bit of a park expansion here there we have it so we've got a nice little bit of grass in the middle there and our plaza is set up and ready to go cool right the next step then is going to be to look at some other decorations we can put down so we have a another info booth which we could put in but we've also got these the piers now these need shoreline so i do want to create a bit of an artificial shoreline here so that we can actually start making use of the water features that are available in these parks and to do that we're going to need to create a bit of a lake and how do we do that you ask well we use our landscaping tools so what i want to do is i want to shift the terrain down a touch and then we're going to grab our level terrain and we're just going to make a bit of a lake right in the middle now we're going to need to pump water into this and this is where i'm worried <laughs> um, this is where things might get a little bit wrong and we might end up with some issues i'm sure you can imagine um we're going to bring this out then and we're just going to have it loop around we need to fill this up now though how do we do that well we're going to try and use some water <laughs> and once it's filled, I imagine it should be okay. So what we're gonna need to do is use the fresh water outlet. We're gonna put that here, and then we're gonna see if we can hook this up with a pipe. Now we'll just turn that off. I don't want it to pump too much, and then we'll come back and uh, I'll just double check the pollution on there. Because if this isn't fresh water, uh, that's not great, is it? <laughs> right, where's our pollution tab? It is indeed fresh water. We have now created a lake right in the middle of Aspen Park. I'm going to turn it back on to try and fill it up a bit more. And as long as it doesn't spill over into the actual park itself, we can then switch it off and we'll have this nice full lake ready for people to take a boat out on it or use the pier and stuff and uh, that's actually really really <laughs> i'm very surprised at how well that has turned out and now aspen park moves over there it still has its three star rating and we've got a nice lake right in the middle of it now this is going to be really useful because we can now put in some of these water-based things and it looks like we've got a fire so our fire engines are coming to to take stuff away from there which is really cool as well so we'll pop down this little pier and that will now start having people entertained they'll get to go to the pier and, and look out on the lake and then we will also add in the park pier number two that's going to go right here and then probably put a little path going up towards it There we have it right now people can use that pier we've got another one there and hopefully when we get a little bit more money coming in we've also created a nice area for our helicopters to go and use as well by the looks of things right let's just take a look at our park now the entertainment value is a little low still so what else can we put down to make this a little bit better we can put in a few more gazebos so i think they look quite nice in various different locations as well uh, maybe we can put one on the side here and then there we go we've now unlocked a climbing frame for our park which can go right back in the middle here on that edge next is the trampoline park so we are now starting to develop a really nice city park 
and all of it is going to start to increase the uh, land value that we've got here. You can see these areas have suffered a little bit and we'll also maybe put in a restaurant here. Now these aren't actually part of the actual parks expansion but they all help and it means we can like maximize the use of the lakes here that we've created. So hopefully we'll get some people visiting this but they do have to come into the park to actually access it and my hope is that they'll just be able to to come in and start using it because at the moment we don't have any visitors to this hopefully they'll just start accessing it though but here i mean you can see the fishing pier doesn't have any road access so i think we need to get rid of that there we go right now we've got a nice little city park in this area we'll then redevelop for our university but we are noticing some things here we've got a lot of issues uh water and stuff is not being provided and they don't have enough educated workers here we've got some abandoned buildings and our suburbia has not yet even begun to fill out so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to uh, quickly redevelop our university area get that all set up in there and then we're actually going to have enough space to add in another residential area so here i'm just going to rezone this little bit of residential and then our college is going to take up this area so all of this stuff's going to have to be moved into this little section and then we just wait for everything to come back now what we do need to do is we're going to put in some basic park things and stuff as well actually now this is going to eat into the area a little bit but we actually do need to put these in because people are a little bit upset at the moment at the uh, lack of entertainment in terms of nice looking locations land value has suffered after my last demolition project <laughs> so yeah this is something that we just need to need to do just to improve the general well-being of all of our citizens so we put in a few nice plazas and stuff directly across from our student areas a couple of other bits and pieces as well just to make the commercial areas look a little bit more i don't know healthy shall we say <laughs> put in a couple of car parks a medium-sized one will go right here next to our basketball arena and we could do with putting another one just across the road here from our extra student areas and then we'll put one here and then a few other smaller plazas and oh a balloon tour that would be really nice let's put a balloon tour in the park or near to the park and then the balloon will go over the park there we go right that works so you can see things are going to start to fill up quite nicely here we've got some people here who aren't too happy about the noise and that is due to this uh, which is a shame so what we'll do is we'll actually demolish where they live and we'll replace it with something that works a bit better like a basketball court <laughs> and then here we can we'll demolish that building there and then i'll just move this crematorium to here taxi depot is fine there and then we've got a couple more taxi stands here as well Okay, things are starting to look a little bit better. Aspen Park's entertainment value still needs to go up a little bit, so we're going to enact some policies here. We're going to make it fine for fireworks, and we are going to have fireworks in the park every night. <laughs> and we'll recycle our garbage. So hopefully that'll make the park nice and entertaining for people and folks won't be too upset about the noise. We've got a nice little area here that we can start to, to, to develop with more parks. And then over here in this residential area, once we get more demand for residents, the only place they're going to move to is this space here. Because all of this is due to fill up with commercial and offices. And yeah, that's looking good. So let's put in a few nice little areas here to boost the appeal of the place some tennis courts basketball courts put a little car park in here where our resident air uh, or like commercial spaces are and then i guess we can put in some smaller buildings like the japanese garden a tropical garden would be quite nice as well and then what we can actually hopefully do can we put our fishing island back in here no because it will interfere with the pier but a botanical garden right down in this area here would be quite nice too so we'll get a botanical garden in right there 
and then again you can see people starting to get a little bit happier now we've got some abandoned buildings here and it's mainly because there aren't enough educated workers if we just go back over to our college here we are in danger of dropping because we are short on students let's go and find some of our educational buildings so our high school education we have okay that one's filled out enough what about our smaller areas here down in this little medical clinic not the medical clinic not the child health center either where's our elementary school i put it here didn't i that's another medical clinic <laughs> Elementary school, 235. Let's just have a quick look at our education then. Okay, so our elementary school is good. High school is also good. University is also good. Right, okay, that's fine. We, we are in a decent position with that. We just need to uh, get students back into that education pool. Uh, you can see we're spending a little bit more money than we ought to be on that. So, uh, water... Better run a water pipe. Oh, there we go. Right, we have dropped down a tier in our education level. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's, that's it's not too much of a problem. We've hooked everything up with water, so now these things are going to start populating. We are losing a little bit of money. But if I just have a quick look at our traffic, it seems to be flowing okay. We do have some snarl-ups here. Uh, that is a bit of a problem. But what we can actually do to generate money, which I haven't done yet, is... If I just pause things, we are going to demolish some roads here. I'm going to take this road, actually, and run it all the way along here. Then we'll grab our eyedropper tool again. We'll link that up. Now here, we are actually going to put in some toll booths. So hopefully what this is going to do is charge people twice. Anyone going to drop off stuff at the cargo train terminal or the large warehouse is going to be charged as they come through the toll booth and then charged again as they leave to get back into the city. And it's just a way for us to generate a little bit more funding uh, for no real outlay at all. <laughs> So we're going to drag that pile on all the way up to there and then hopefully we'll start seeing cars come through here. I'm just going to boost the cost of using that toll booth. And then what that means is once we finally get our um, little trading set up here as well, actually what we can do is we'll put another toll booth in for cars as they come away from the train station. So let's just uh, quickly demolish this here. And we're looking to maximize the profit that we make from our citizens right excellent i've removed the oh there we go we've now unlocked the trampoline park there we go we've got a maximum park so that's really good uh, i've actually removed all of the bus and uh, railway lines so we will need to put them back in but we're continuing this all the way along here uh, i don't actually need it there and that is just gonna give me a little bit more space to put in some more commercial or residential areas we're currently at 27,000 population and it is starting to increase again. The educated workers is starting to become a problem again, but we do now have... Oh, we've got even less students coming through now. This is a problem. But we do have... If I just go to my education tab, let's find where the other areas of education are. We've got a community school there. So wait a minute, it doesn't look like we have enough school access for people and that is probably why we've run into an issue here. So we put another community school down, we'll add in another Institute of Creative Arts and we put that within our park. Okay, so we've got a lot more availability there now, so hopefully that should sort out this backlog here and we'll get our college back up to uh, looking like a very good institute like it was previously. But our riding stables, quite popular. If we have a look at our main park as well, let's have a look at the info tab for it. You can see here, lots of visitors, very good entertainment value, and it is making a nice bit of money. It's also going to keep our residents very happy. So the next step then is to just uh, put in a couple of finishing touches here. 
Now this lake is, it's okay for now. But I would like to find another, if anyone knows, another way to get this to work a little bit better so that the water level keeps topped up and doesn't spill out and I'm able to actually run it normally, that would be really useful. We need to put our trampoline park in. That was the next step. So if we go all the way to the end of this, find our trampoline park and we can put that in right here. Nice. Okay, so that should give that a really nice entertainment value and that is now going to be a permanent fixture it's going to be complete we're not going to need to do anything more there we could put a zoo in here or we could do some other sort of park there as well but for now we're just going to let this area continue to develop it should start attracting more citizens very soon people are happy again and the education backlog will hopefully be sorted out very soon uh, next week we're going to develop the commercial area a little bit better and build this up into a bit more of a modern complex over here i'd like to move all of these further out of the city as our city like it the interior of our city continues to expand. We want to be moving further afield with these polluting zones. Now here, this Spring Estate District, it is a farming area. It has been bringing us in a bit of money, but I'd quite like to eventually move that up into this tile here. And then this would be a huge commercial zone with the motorway running all the way through it. That's my plan for the future anyway. Uh, you can see here yeah, this little tech industry. It looks really weird. It's like a blot on the landscape because everything else looks really nice and, and uniform. And then we've just got these commercial areas just slapped in the middle of nowhere. But yes, we are looking. Our reputation may drop again to stay at our current reputation. It's not looking good. So we do need to be aware of that. But other than that... We do have areas that we need to exploit a little bit further. I'd like to move Cypress timber processing up into the hills here and just really expand that timber industry. We can make it bigger. We can make it work a little bit better for us and just take up that entire forested area. And then over here, we could actually make this a new farm area. If we have a look here, there's some nice fertile land there, but also up here. But this forested mountain area looks pretty good for us. We also have some mining opportunities in this area as well. And I think that's probably going to be the next tile that I buy. Then we can push the population a little bit further to unlock this tile and move all of our farming up into that area there, allowing us to build a new commercial zone. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. But for now, I think we can leave that there. And say that this has been quite a nice redevelopment here at Aspen Park. Obviously, there's lots that we can improve on. But with a lot of money in the bank, we're doing pretty well. I would just really like to see these residential areas come to, to fruition a little bit quicker. So we're just going to quickly zone a few more, actually. I didn't realise I hadn't zoned these ones. So we can put all of these in now. Okay, so I think we will uh, we'll leave it there. Oh, Caulfields Park. We were going to expand this a little bit. But for now, I'm quite happy with how things are looking. We've got a nice five-star park there. We do need to push our um, university a little bit higher to try and recover from this issue that we have with our lack of students, even though we have... Oh, that's what I need to do. As I finish and in prep for the next episode, I'm going to redo all of my bus lanes and... Um, tracks for the uh, metro system so yes uh, let's uh, just head to our cinematic view as we close out so it is looking really nice a lovely sprawling city is starting to develop here we've got some really nice high density residential and commercial areas coming into place the traffic has started to become an issue again but once i redo all of my bus lanes and stuff i think that will sort itself out it's looking really nice and uh, the nighttime views are looking a little bit more spectacular than the uh, pitch darkness that we usually have but here we go on the uh, road into the industrial area and yeah it's looking really nice so i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope you're looking forward to the next one thank you all for watching and i will see you next time bye bye